Introduction to Swimming. Swimming lessons are the process of learning to swim. In most countries there is a definition of a number of swimming levels that are reached in the process of the curriculum. The respective certificates of swimming tests are required for further training in aquatic abilities. Many countries have defined a minimum swimming level that children should reach by the end of primary education, in most cases with the help of school swimming classes being part of the normal curriculum. Swimming is skill. Swimming is the self-propulsion of a person through water, usually for recreation, sport, exercise, or survival. Locomotion is achieved through coordinated movement of the limbs, the body, or both. The sport or activity of propelling oneself through water using the limbs. Swimming is sport. Swimming is an individual or team racing sport that requires the use of one's entire body to move through water. The sport takes place in pools or open water, e.g. in a sea or lake. Competitive swimming is one of the most popular Olympic sports with varied distance events in butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle, and individual medley. In addition to these individual events, four swimmers can take part in either a freestyle or medley relay. A medley relay consists of four swimmers who will each swim a different stroke, ordered as backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly and freestyle. History of Swimming Evidence of recreational swimming in prehistoric times has been found with the earliest evidence dating to Stone Age paintings from around 10,000 years ago. Written references date from 2000 BC, with some of the earliest references to swimming including the Iliad, the Odyssey, the Bible, Beowulf, the Quran and others. Swimming emerged as a competitive recreational activity in the 1830s in England. In 1828 the first indoor swimming pool, St. George's Baths, was open to the public. 6. By 1837, the National Swimming Society was holding regular swimming competitions in six artificial swimming pools, built around London. The recreational activity grew in popularity and by 1880, when the first national governing body, the Amateur Swimming Association, was formed, there were already over 300 regional clubs in operation across the country. Swim Styles in competitive swimming, four major styles have been established. These have been relatively stable over the last 30 to 40 years with minor improvements. They are 1. Butterfly 2. Backstroke 3. Breaststroke 4. Freestyle 1. The butterfly, colloquially shortened to fly, is a swimming stroke swam on the chest with both arms moving symmetrically, accompanied by the butterfly kick, also known as the dolphin kick. The butterfly is a more difficult stroke that requires good technique as well as strong muscles. It is the newest swimming style swam in competition, first swam in 1933 and originating out of the breaststroke. 2. Backstroke or backcrawl is one of the four swimming styles used in competitive events regulated by FINA, and the only one of these styles swam on the back. This swimming style has the advantage of easy breathing, but the disadvantage of swimmers not being able to see where they're going. It also has a different start from the other three competition swimming styles. The swimming style is similar to an upside-down front crawl or freestyle. 3. Breaststroke is a swimming style in which the swimmer is on their chest and the torso does not rotate. It is the most popular recreational style due to the swimmer's head being out of the water a large portion of the time, and that it can be swum comfortably at slow speeds. In most swimming classes beginners learn either the breaststroke or the freestyle front crawl first. However, at the competitive level, swimming breaststroke at speed requires comparable endurance and strength to other strokes. 4. Freestyle The term, freestyle stroke, is sometimes used as a synonym for front crawl, as front crawl is the fastest swimming stroke. It is now the most common stroke used in freestyle competitions. Freestyle is a category of swimming competition, defined by the rules of the International Swimming Federation FINA, in which competitors are subject to few limited restrictions on their swimming stroke. Other swimming skills. 
1. Dive. A dive is a jump into water with your arms and head going in first. A dive start is the action begun at the start of a swimming race. In most strokes the swimmer jumps off the diving blocks after hearing the starting signal. 2. Treading water or water treading is what a swimmer can do while in a vertical position to keep their head above the surface of the water, while not providing sufficient directional thrust to overcome inertia and propel the swimmer in any specific direction. Equipment used in swimming. 1. Swimsuit. It's obvious that you'll need a swimsuit to swim. However, the right swimsuit fits close to your body and doesn't hinder movement. A suit that is too big may sag and make you uncomfortable, altering how you move in the water. A suit that is too snug may restrict range of motion and make it difficult to get the most out of your swimming session. 2. Goggles. Goggles allow you to see underwater, important in crowded pools or for lap swimming when you need to see turns, walls and barriers. Wearing goggles in the water also protects your eyes from chemicals used to clean the pool. 3. Swimming cap. Most people forego a swimming cap in the pool, but if you spend a lot of time in the water, the right one is beneficial. A swimming cap keeps long hair out of your face while you swim. It also corrals your hair, helping streamline your silhouette as you swim. Most professional swimmers wear a swim cap for these reasons. 4. Fins, paddles and boards. Fins, pull boy, paddles and boards are not required for competition, but may be beneficial during practice or for recreational swimmers who are looking for a more challenging workout. Fins increase the resistance to your legs while paddling, which enhances the muscular benefits. Boards aid with buoyancy, allowing you to practice new techniques. Paddles work much like fins but attach to your hands. These tools are often used during professional practice sessions to enhance speed and performance. The Curriculum of Swimming in Maritime Courses The Physical Education 1, which is basic swimming only covers freestyle or front crawl, backstroke diving and treading water. While in Physical Education 2, which is Advanced Swimming covers breaststroke, butterfly stroke and mastery of all lessons in P.